Hey guys, what's up, Mad Season here, back with a quick video for you here today. We got some leakage regarding the Burning Crusade Classic here, right before BlizzCon, and I thought I'd break it down for you because there's some interesting things. So, this is not really news, as most people even moderately invested into the scene knew it was coming, but Burning Crusade Classic and Permanent 60 are confirmed. Blizzard accidentally uploaded details on their website a day early, and the internet being the internet of course captured it. I'll have a link to the full post in the description if you'd like to read the whole thing. Let's take a look at this line first. Decide whether to advance each of their characters to BC with the rest of their realm, or continue playing original World of Warcraft on the Classic Era servers. I said this in my future of Classic video, that this was the most likely option. All existing servers right now will go into BC with communities mostly intact, and for those who want to play Classic forever, you'll be given the option of permanent 60 servers. Taking the other polls I posted into consideration of the interest in BC versus Permanent 60, I did say that I thought this was the best option as it preserves the community and results in the fewest number of new servers out of all the options posted by Blizzard in those surveys. I'd also like to point out that people are saying Vanilla Fresh is confirmed. That's not the way that I read this. They say continue playing on new Classic Era servers, meaning not fresh vanilla, just new servers for people to transfer your existing 60s to if you want to stay 60 forever. That's how I read and understood that line at least. Although I'm sure that we will eventually get vanilla fresh, there's no question about that. I don't think this confirms no BC fresh from 1 or 58. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on that. And just like I said in my other video, I think it's a no-brainer that Blizzard releases at least a few fresh BC servers. There's no mention of that in this write-up, so there's a bit of panic going around with it. I say let's wait for tomorrow before we put the nail in the coffin there though, because this is just a bullet point write-up that wasn't even meant to be released at the end of the day. Although I personally plan on continuing on Fairlina myself, I will be pushing for those who want fresh BC. I think if we're loud enough, Blizzard will listen. But again, let's wait for BlizzCon before we get too crazy. And the rest of it just breaks down features of BC, which I'm sure most of you know by now. The new world, races, jewel crafting, arena, and so on. The stuff that we're interested in though are the when and how. And for when, all we have is 2021, which we pretty much knew already, so nothing crazy there. We got a couple of key points on the how though. First is it will be a phasing schedule like vanilla. No details on how detailed this phasing schedule will be. In vanilla, as you know, it broke down to six content phases, focusing mainly on raids, major features such as the PvP system, world bosses, and some itemization here and there. A lot of people were hoping for a more detailed phasing schedule for BC, such as full itemization including professions, and some also want class balance and so on. The idea is that because Blizzard didn't have the vanilla code in all of its entirety, they weren't able to be as detailed as they would have liked. So now, because they have a more thorough archive of BC data, it allows for more depth with its content phasing. But in answer to all of those questions, we'll have to wait until tomorrow. But if I had to guess, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty similar to vanilla. However, if you look closely at this line as well, we have some information regarding raids. Directly after mentioning the phasing schedule, they specifically mention preparing for the opening of Black Temple, Zalaman, and Sunwell. For those who don't know, everything up to and including High Gel was out at release of the original Burning Crusade. It's just that most of them were locked behind lengthy attunement chains, so obviously it wasn't as easy as just zoning in. To get into High Gel, he had to clear through the Tempest Keep and Serpent Shrine. And to get into Tempest Keep, he had to grind four reputations to Revered and get keyed for heroics. To get into Serpent Shrine, he had to attune to Karazhan, which had its own lengthy attunement chain. So the fear is that, just like what we saw in Vanilla, and the raids being super easy to clear through, people will just blow through BC in the same manner, and many were hoping that Blizzard lock out more raids in the beginning to preserve and lengthen the lifespan of BC Classic. This is also contingent on how they handle the actual attunement as well, because that also went through several nerfs and stuff. But this line tells me that everything but Black Temple, Zalaman, and Sunwell will be out at release. Again, we'll know for sure soon, but that's how I take it. That's about it though. It does have some other stuff that you probably already knew about, such as it's included with your normal subscription, no need to buy an expansion or anything like that. Again though, the link is in the description if you want to check it out yourself. I'll be back tomorrow of course with the official BlizzCon coverage, so stay tuned 
and I'll see you then. Thanks everybody. Farewell for now, mortals. We hope you enjoyed today's video. See you again soon.